Hi guys, thank you for the introduction. Um, I, I'm Mandeep, I'm one of the founders and CEO of Truva. Um, so our vision, as you can see up there, is a world where beautiful inventory that sits offline in bricks and mortar stores is accessible for everyone to be able to buy online. Um, and we do this via our marketplace on truva.com. It, it's a consumer marketplace where you can buy, at the moment, beautiful homewares from the best independent stores around the world. So taking a step back, um, e-commerce, traditional e-commerce, has been around now for over almost 25 years. Amazon's been around 25 years. And Amazon dominates in those commoditized categories like books, electronics, etc., which have shot online. But that wasn't what interested us when we started the business. What we found really fascinating was that the biggest chunk of retail, what we call discovery-led retail, in categories like homewares, 90% of transactions are still taking place in offline physical stores. And then one of the major reasons for that is that in these types of categories, it's not purely about search, price, and convenience. It's about finding a beautiful product that you fall in love with what we call emotional retail. And in these trillions of dollars of retail, oh, almost a trillion dollars of that in the US alone is taking place through offline independence. Independence which are run by amazing curators. People who've quit their jobs because their lifelong dream is to set up their own bricks and mortar store, where they curate beautiful products from the best brands around the world. Like Object Style here in, in Manchester, um, which is one of the first cities we launched in. So, for example, in homewares, it's one of the lowest categories um, in online penetration. So less than 10% of the market is currently online, but it's forecast to be the fastest growing online market over the next few years. So basically, what we do is that we capture and digitize the products that sit offline in these physical stores, the style and the curation of the people who run these stores, and, ca and allow you to browse those and discover and buy those products online. How that actually works, um, it's the boring bit, but where we started was by building our own SaaS-based platform for independent stores. So just to make it real, when you come on Truva.com, you find a product, you're seeing a real-time um, inventory data from, the, from that store, which is using our software to manage their stock. So everything you see is in stock right now. When you place an order uh, and it's accepted, we handle logistics. So everything from one hour local delivery through to worldwide shipping, we allocate the uh, best delivery option real time and send that courier into the store to pick up the item. So it comes directly from the bricks and mortar store to you. Cool. Um, we now have um, over 800 shops started in London um, and then went across the UK. Um, and now in cities across Europe, so Berlin was actually our biggest city outside of the UK, but then the likes of Amsterdam, Paris, Copenhagen, um, Madrid, Barcelona. And we allow customers to buy from these stores no matter where they are in the world. So uh, the UK is still our biggest customer demand market, followed by the US and then Germany. And what it also allows us to do is we're a managed marketplace. So opposed to the traditional e-commerce experience you might get on a eBay or Etsy, where they really have no involvement in picking the products or the consumer experience, we can offer you a consistent customer experience while still being a marketplace. So here you see the products where the photography comes from the store. You can see where the store is and where you're buying from. But then when it arrives, you, it's tracked, it's consistent shipping pricing, consistent packaging, Truva packaged, uh, along with something about uh, the store owner and why they pick this product. Cool. And most of these guys are picking branded products. That's really, really important to bear in mind. And so ultimately, what we're doing for customers is being able to build this by far and away the biggest range of products in, in homewares, by putting together all of these 800 buyers who've picked branded products from everything from a firm living through to a Tom Dixon through to over 3,000 independent brands, which you can't find anywhere else online. And that allows us to, um, to build a destination to be able to buy all these categories and all these brands and products online in, in one place. 
So um, we launched um, about three and a half years ago. Um, I'm very fortunate to have been consistently picked as one of the fastest growing businesses in Europe. Uh, last month, we were growing about three times a year on year. And um, we're driving millions of pounds a month for our independence. Um, and uh, we monetize largely through commission, but we also have uh, a set of B2B revenues where we charge, uh, where we offer the shop services um, and they uh, pay for the platform and the services we offer. Uh, our first investor was a chap called Robin Klein, a, a local globe, who's one of the first investors in Farfetch. Um, and uh, one of our, ma our main VC in, in London is, uh, is Octopus. Um, and we're also fortunate to have a bunch of uh, really handy angel investors from the likes of uh, Deliveroo, Farfetch, Uber, who've been phenomenal in giving us marketplace experience and, and how to scale the business internationally. And uh, lastly, but definitely not least, um, I've been very fortunate to, to find an amazing team, um, also with a lot of marketplace experience. Um, a lot of team came from One Fine Stay, um, another business which Robin backed before, um, but also from uh, Deliveroo, uh, Farfetch, Uber, etc. cetera. Um, and um, a fantastic set of skills in both in technology, marketplace, but also in building an amazing consumer brand, which is ultimately what we're, what we're doing. So aware this is a public forum, so I haven't gone too much in metrics, et cetera, but if it's of interest, very happy to talk to you, anyone one-on-one -on -one afterwards. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.